everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video um, of some flowers that I've made. I kept mentioning it in other videos, but I thought that I would show you because I've made quite a few now of little ones. So I'll just share them with you. Um, this one I made, I don't know if you can see it very well, using some ribbon. And then there's uh, some blue feathers in the background. I think this is the first one I made. So <laughs> I was learning. So there's that one. Um, I also made this one using some lace. Just going round and round the outside. And then bringing it in. Um, I just made this one using some organza ribbon. Trisha, um, who's a little shabby chic on YouTube, she used a white organza ribbon with a, like a wire in it and I found this pink one which I showed in my first video craft haul um, and this is what I made with it so I really like that and I put mint green feathers behind so there's that one I also made this one using a very fine lace as well which I also showed in my the lace in my first video and just added some purple feathers behind and there's another one with the same lace um, I also made this one just using a uh, ribbon and started around the outside of a circle, felt circle, and just as I went round, I scrunched it and all the way round into the middle. This is that one. It's another one with a blue ribbon, and this here is um you know you can get the little pearls well that's one size and then i just <laughs> used a hot glue gun and added the little ones all the way around the outside to do that one because i don't have any of the um ribbon sliders so i thought i'd try something like that Work just as well, and they haven't fell off. <laughs> um, as I made this one as well, and this silk is from a dress um, or sign. I'm not sure if it's silk or sign. Um, an old dress, and I just. So instead of throwing it away, I'll just use the material, and then it's got the purple netting that I got as well underneath. That was a new way of doing a flower. I was just trying something out. Also made this one using the purple net as well. And this one, but this one's got um, some of that silk from that dress underneath. So I did a layer of the first layer with the silk, and the second layer with the net, just playing around. Um, 
also another one with the purple net with the organza around the outside that I got from eBay it's the white organza um, I also made this this one as well this one has got the yellow net underneath and then using a smaller circle of material I did the white organza around the top so the organza comes there and then the net comes out a little bit more I don't know if you can see it very well I love the fl that little flower in the middle as well missing a gem but it's still really nice. I also made this one. This is with the pink organza and then underneath is the purple net. That's quite nice as well. Oh. Another one. I love this one. I love the pink. I don't know if it's shown up very well on here, but it's also from a dress. And I just what I did is I folded the is it the peachy coloured net that I got on the inside of each of the the pink circles to do the folds and that came out like that which I really like and that one's my favourite I think and this one I made as well using the pink organza with some lace around the outside but I wasn't sure about the lace I don't know if you can see that around the outside. I wasn't sure whether to keep it or take it away because I don't know whether it looks too big whether it looks alright. I'm not quite sure but I do like the organza flower. So, so that would be without the lace. I don't know if you can see it. With. I'm not sure. But I was just having a play around anyway. So, so yeah, that's uh, a couple of the flowers I've made so far, and um, hope you like them. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.